Good morning, XRP Future Millionaire. It's 8.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. We are just hours away from an emergency Fed meeting. I would not touch the market. This is all one big setup because it is, in fact, a very high probability they're going to raise that basis point rate hike of 0.25 to 0.50, so 25 to 50 basis point rate hike. There are also talks about a hawkish move to raise at 100 uh, basis points, which I doubt will happen. But having an emergency Fed meeting this close, this isn't just to talk and shake hands and ruffle feathers. This is to put a, a rate hike in place, in my opinion. So real quick, I wanted to go over the FUD Assassins page. So UB2B has FUD Assassins. Check this out on Twitter. I love it. I'm going to go over a few of them real quick. Nothing is insurmountable. Join the FUD Assassins. Destroy your inner fiends. But assassins, I love this so much. Back, discover your higher self. Back then, I was so scared that I wasn't able to move and I almost died. Then all of a sudden, I heard that unknown voice which helped me again. Gain the strength I needed to move my body. But assassins. Now I'm going to do one more real quick. Success comes from will and resolve. Shouldn't you try whatever it takes to block the leak in the hull of a boat? Even if... You have to stick your ass in it. Fought assassins. And then. Got a few fought assassins. And then uh, I wanted to go over a few of these as well. Grasshopper. You must join Tom's army. UB2B. Again you can find all of UB2B's links in my video description below. Who's the chart master? Don't ask stupid questions, Lewis. You be to be. <laughs> and then we we already shared this one. Wait a minute. Yep, we shared this one on the Fun Assassins page. So that's what I wanted to share from UB2B. -E. Thank you so much, UB2B. -E. It helps me start out my morning right. So I'm going to go into some stuff about the emergency Fed meeting. But first, let's take a look around the market. The U.S. dollar currency index, the DXY, is hitting exactly where I said it would. We talked about that. Now it's going to be the question of does it reverse back down? Let me not confuse you. If it reverses back down or if we go up another level, but I, I predicted it to come up to that $96.23, and that's exactly where we're at this Monday morning, so that was a phenomenal call. Um, crude oil is down 1.25%, but looking strong. Rounded that 90 and now it's just coming back to retouch the 20 day and the four hour, which is completely bullish. We've got the US 10 year bond, 10 year yield. It's up a little bit this morning again, but it's uh, up 3.34% to 1.979. So that chart's looking pretty good as well if it can hold the support. It did fall underneath the 20 day and the four hour, or so originally, but then as you can see, it kicked right back up. And it's once again bullish. It's it's on the top side of that support resistance line. PBR continues its strong move. It was up 4.42% on Friday, up to 14.22 now in pre-market. We've got gold continuing its push. It's up $3.1861, so a strong close for the week last week. Same thing with silver. Closed the week at 23.55, roughly. Very strong close. Fortuna closed the week up almost 7%, just shy of 360. We've got CMRZF. Remember, it was down to 1665, and I told you guys that was just a shuffle down, and it would be back up before the day, and it was a good buying opportunity. Now it's at 1820. We've got wheat and precious metals up almost 5%, looking at the 42 handle. Barrett Gold was up 7.12%. I showed you guys those uh, call options with Fortuna Silver, Fortuna Silver Mines. Barrett Gold and Equinox Gold, when these were down some 12 to 15%, so those options are going to look spectacular today. I know I was up like 40 something percent in my between my call and put options, probably a little bit more than that. You got GPL up 7.21% and 1.8% in pre market, so that's a big 9% move in one day. You got NEO down 7%, we put put options at 25.50. And then fuel cells down almost six, just over six percent. We put uh, put options at five dollars and ten cents. So we're looking good on our overall um, portfolio. Crypto looks like hell. Total crypto market caps up one point eight seven trillion. I wouldn't touch this. If you touch this now, you're a fool. 
no offense, but you can't buy this with the emergency Fed meeting. Of course, it's going to start to look a little green this morning because they're trying to trap as many people as possible. XRP is on the south side of a critical resistance at 803, so don't touch that. We talked about this during the Super Bowl. There's no reason to buy because it was a fake out, and then we were on the bottom side of the four-hour time frame, and I know a lot of people in my Telegram were tempted, but I told them the facts. We're underneath that red line. You do not buy, period. So now we have 80494 as resistance, 75422 as support. And we're going to look to get through that, but we have an emergency Fed meeting today, so crypto is going to take a back seat. I'm just trying to give you guys the intel and what's going on in the positioning. Because right now, crypto is positioned to dump and dump hard. XLM, that 21.2 resistance or support is now being used as resistance. And it's right at it, but I don't see any way that this is going to get over it with that pathetic little amount of volume. The next support below us is 203, and if it breaks that, we go back to the accumulation zone of 19.4. You break the accumulation zone and break these supports at 16.8 and 17.3, well, then you got 13.8, and that's going to be a big, big drop. DGB, we've got resistance. Again, all these are on the bottom side of the support line that it was supposed to stay over. Resisted at 23.52. Our next support below us is 21.24. The RSI is heading into oversold, but I don't put any stock into that in the four hourly because the daily is still in neutral. And it's on the bottom side of that yellow line, which tells me we're going to come into oversold on the daily as well. XRP looking the exact same way. It's still way up there in the daily. It's got a lot of room to come down. I think XRP is going to be one of the harder hit. We're on the bottom side of that neutral line. And I told you, if we got to the bottom side of that red line, that support resistance line that I put down there in the RSI chart, if we got to the bottom side of that, we we're gonna have a nice drop to the new or to the oversold. And now we're on the bottom side of it, looking to use this as resistance. This is gonna be a disaster. You can see it. This looks like one big right arm, and XRP is gonna be the one to drop the hardest out of most of these. If XLM's not catching up to it, that means XRP is going to drop two or three times as fast as XLM. So be prepared. This could be very ugly this morning. I mean ugly. Let's finish this with the Fed stuff. So closed board meeting February 14th. I've got a little video that's about a minute from Larry Summers. So government in the sunshine meeting notice. Closed board meeting on February 14, 2022. It is anticipated that the closed meeting of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System at 11.30 a.m. So in about two hours... In 35 minutes on Monday, February 14, 2022, will be held under expedited or expedited procedures as set forth in Section 261B.7 of the Board's rules regarding public ob observation of meeting meetings at the Board's offices at 20th Street and C Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. The following items of official Board business are tentatively scheduled to be considered at that meeting. Review and determination by the Board of Governors of the advance and discount rates to be charged by the Federal Reserve Banks. A final announcement of matter considered under expedited, expedited procedures will be available in the Board's Freedom of Information and Public Affairs Office and on the Board's website following the closed meeting. So, this is uh, phenomenal that they're actually doing a closed meeting. It's This is unheard of. You don't get this kind of stuff unless something big's about to happen. So... This is something incredible that you don't generally see, ladies and gentlemen. That's the big thing about this. You don't generally see this happening. So a firestorm of hawkish Fed speculation erupts following strong U.S. inflation reading. Like, that's the thing. There's a lot of stuff going on. Government and Sunshine Emergency Fed meeting. So we're going to see a lot of stuff, and I'm going to end it playing Larry Summers. Make sure to hit that like button, turn that bell notification to all, and I encourage you to join Tom's Army with the other 224 members of Tom's Army. We've had a big explosion in the last couple weeks. We're at 224 members. Our next goal is 250 members. When we get to 250 members of Tom's Army, I'm giving away 50 bucks and a commemorative XRP token to whoever I draw. You must be active in the Telegram so that when I announce, you'll know that it's you. And then I'll share it on an update as well. But you'll be first to know in the Telegram. So if we can get 26 more subs... We're at 224. When we get to 250, I'm giving out $50 through PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. And then also a commemorative XRP token. So join the Telegram. You get that only by joining Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. With that, 
In month one, you get me abducted by aliens. In month two, you get Dusty's Outhouse Crypto News. In month three, you get the XRP Flame and Meteor. In month four, you get, I'm not going to spoil it all. And then in month six, you get the XRP Predictor. And those are the emojis next to your name. You also get priority commenting. And you can talk to me on live streams. If you're not a member of Tom's Army, you cannot comment on live streams. That's the way I keep out spam. And then as a thank you from me to you, I give you this exclusive telegram for free for supporting me on YouTube. There's 206 people in here right now. It's unbelievable how much stuff goes on here. I talk to a lot of people as well personally. Me and Craig have been having a long conversation. He's got so much knowledge and he knows a lot of stuff. But last night, guys, I went to bed. I didn't look at the market. And I literally went to bed at 10.30. Shut my phone off. Didn't look at anything. Went to bed. I slept until like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I felt so good. I feel relieved. I feel refreshed. I feel ready to go in the market. And today's going to be a spicy meat to ball. I will see you later this morning very 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 specific should they have a special meeting david look these numbers were in line with the numbers that we've had i don't understand why people keep being so surprised when there's evidence that uh and look this is before they announced the hot uh, the emergency fed meeting but listen to what they're saying on bloomberg like this they're trying to they're not trying to admit to it, but they're also trying to, you can hear it within them. They all can see how bad this is. And they're still trying not to sound the alarms, but we've gotten to a point now where there's no way to avoid it. Uh, inflation is entrenched. This confirms uh, just how far behind the curve uh, the Fed has gotten. And this, along with the fact that it now looks like Build Back Better is in trouble, uh, confirms what a serious error the excessive stimulus of last March was. It both set the stage for the inflation and toxic politics that we have today, and it eliminated the chance to make fundamental investments in our country, given the political uh, context. We just way overdid it then, and we're still, gonna, we're still paying a price, and I suspect we're going to pay a price uh, for some time to come. Here's what I think the Fed should do. I think the Fed should have a special meeting right now to end QE. Look at it, guys. Listen to what he's saying right now. So, Summers, I'm telling you, he was he's spot on with this. This is why I shared his. But he called for an end of QE before they even announced the emergency meeting. He actually said, that's why I thought this was interesting. Because I seen this a couple days ago before they announced the emergency meeting by the Fed. And Summers said, we need to have an emergency meeting. We need to get on QE right now. So listen to how he finishes this. It's brilliant. It is nothing short of preposterous that in an economy with 7.5% uh, inflation, in an economy with the uh, tightest labor markets we've seen in more than two generations, that the central bank is still, as we speak, growing its balance sheet and i think the fed could show that at last it really gets it by having a special meeting for the purpose of simply ending qe it's not that the marginal purchases they're going to do over the next month are all that consequential they're not probably very consequential at all but i think the symbolism of ending it tomorrow would sig would show that the Fed has gotten a major uh, wake up call. Can you imagine any conceivable reason why, in the face of what is housing price inflation faster than we had in the 2006 pre crisis period, we have the government intervening to actively buy up? and reduce the yield on mortgage-backed securities. That should be ended tomorrow. And it would be precisely the suddenness of the action that would cause it to signal that we were really very clearly uh, in a new regime.